Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with the tour room and today is a very exciting day because we are back in New Jersey heading over to see the Toys R Us in the American Dream Mall. I've done a tour of this whole store before. I want to say about a year maybe a year and a half ago so if you guys are interested in like the full detail tour of the store check that video out in today's video i'm not going to go into detail of every single thing in the store i'm just going to see what's new what maybe they moved around what's open now that wasn't open previously because when i went last time it was still fairly new so there was a lot of things like the slide that wasn't open uh jeffrey's cafe wasn't open yet and i don't know what other things were not open at the time but that's what today's video is going to be an updated tour of the toys r us store in the american Dream dream mall oh i love toys r us i can't wait okay without further ado let's go ahead and get into the store because man i, I oh i can't wait let's go all right so here we are at toys r us and it looks like jeffrey's cafe is now open this was closed last time we came there's a lot of things that were closed last time we came because it was fairly new like they had just opened not too long after we came but it looks like they have a sign now for all the things on level one and all the things on level two. And they got the music blasting in here. So I'm going to have to chop these things up into little clips so I don't get hit with copyright. Um, and I did the full tour of this store. So if you guys want to see this already, you know, it's been done already. I'll leave the link at the end of this video. Um, but I'm just going to see if we can look around and see what's new. And right off the bat, I can already tell something that's new is this section over here. I think this was previously books before, but now it looks like it's all board games and they are literally blasting the speaker right here. So I'm going to try and talk over it. Yeah, it looks like this is all board games over here, which uh, I feel like works better. The books that were over here last time didn't make a lot of sense. But yeah, just all board games here. Trying to see if I see anything interesting. Oh, we got a Brooklyn exclusive monopoly that's really cool uh then everything else looks like pretty much standard board games but i mean i see things that i don't normally see back home at like my targets and walmarts so i mean that's really cool i'm just trying to kind of pan through this really quickly it looks like you do still have some books here these look like educational books or coloring books activity books type stuff there we go these look pretty sick looks like on this side it's just all puzzles pretty interesting right there and then some 3d puzzles right over here it looks like this area is still the same they had this whole display here with like the play-doh type stuff last time looks like the video is not working other than that all this looks the same i think all of this was here last time as well man connects it has been a long time since i've seen connects and i love seeing this little model on display does it actually work oh yeah look at that i can actually spin it that is really cool looks like they have the video working on this side just not the other side i miss seeing all these little like demo things on display that's just a ton of fun this section is all arts and crafts so nothing really new over here and nothing interesting but you know, all your arts and crafts needs that you could need crayons, markers, pencils, everything, everything in here. This is so much arts and crafts stuff, it's actually a little bit overwhelming. But there you are with all the arts and crafts. This looks interesting. What the heck is this? It's like a you snap them together and you can make things. They made a dress. That's pretty interesting. I've never seen anything like that before. I'm sorry, what? Juicy couture arts and crafts bracelets. I mean I guess it makes sense, but I just never seen anything like that before. What year is this? That is hilarious. I found some classic books over here. Oh man, Where the Wild Things Are is a classic. The Berenstein Bears. So this makes more sense for the books to be on these little spinners and stuff. They didn't make sense in that section where they were before where the board games are now. And this is where the board games were previously and it looks like they moved all of the infant toys over to this side. So all Fisher Price, uh, Leapfrog, VTech, Everything in between, that's all in this section, which also makes a lot more sense. And this is gonna be where, this is gonna be the section where I'm gonna be spending a lot of time now that I have a baby coming in just two more months, guys. Absolutely wild. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot of shopping in sections like these in the next coming months. It looks like they have a bunch of plushes over here. So we have Cookie Monster, we also have Elmo, and then you also have Mickey and Minnie. Looks like you got two versions of Minnie, one in the pink dress, one in the red dress. And then I saw Mickey in here somewhere. There he is, Mickey Mouse. So I'm probably gonna pick one of these up. I don't know which one I'm leaning towards, either this pink Mickey, or mini I should say, this pink mini, or this Cookie Monster, just so Aaliyah could have a, uh, a you know, stuffed animal to cuddle and play with. I feel like mini makes more sense, but this one is just so soft. So I don't know, decisions, decisions. But I'm gonna go home with one of them. I just don't know which one yet. And this section before, they had like a demo kiosk set up here. Now this is all like the, the magic uh, stuff arts and crafts, games, I don't even know what you would call them, but it's all magic stuff. 
But yeah, they had like a, a thing, uh, a person on display demoing all this stuff last time I was here. They don't have that now. I mean, it is the middle of the week. And it looks like it's still set up where it could be like that. Maybe on the weekends they have somebody come in and demo all these products here. And then here are the stairs. This is where we walked in on that side. And then there are stairs on this side as well. And then here is one of the registers where you can pay. You can pay downstairs or upstairs. But that is the register downstairs. And we've already seen these stairs before, so I'm actually gonna take the elevator just to see if there's anything special because last time we were here, we didn't take the elevator. And I didn't see these guys over here last time. This is all Mario and Sonic, it looks like, over in this section. Mostly Hot Wheels and the Jack Specific sets. Let's go ahead and take the elevator because last time we were here, we didn't take it. So I just wanna see if there's any cool designs or anything on the elevator. So I showed off the designs last time, but you have this ladder here that says up. So that's a very nice, uh, just very nice graphic, I guess. And then you have Jeffrey over here with all these stars. So let's see if the inside of the elevator is themed at all. All right, so it's not, unfortunately. It's just like some red paneling in here. Not even like the Toys R Us colors, just red. So that kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. All right, we are fresh out of the elevator. The graphic on this side is just way, way cooler. So there you go, it says down. And then last time we were here, this slide was not operational. And at the moment, it's not. You can see it's blocked off, but it's not operational right at this very moment in time. You can see weekdays, it's 12 to one and four to five that the slide is open. And then on the weekends, when it's more busier, it's open all day from 12 to seven. So unfortunately, I can't slide down there right now, but I mean, that's just a lot, a lot of fun. Having a slide that goes from the second floor all the way down to the first floor, man. I wish I could go in there right now, but unfortunately it's not open till 4 and I think it's like 2 o'clock right at the moment. But here we are at the top floor of the Toys R Us and we're actually going to go all the way to the other side, start in that corner and work our way back this way. Alright, so we're over in this section over here. This section looks like they changed it to all Disney Princess. If my memory serves me correctly, this was like the, the dress up section where they had like the costumes where you can cosplay and dress up as like nurses and doctors, firemen and whatnot. But this is all... Disney Princess, Polly Pockets, and that eventually leads into all the baby dolls right over that way. And there's a quick shot, there's all the baby dolls, Baby Alive, You and Me, it's all in this section over here. I don't remember what was in this section previously, but that's what's over here now, as well as Monster High. And then that leads into all Barbie over here, and then more of like the American Girl or American Journey, whatever that brand is called over there. But all Barbies, so basic stuff over here, nothing too interesting but there you go. And then in the middle, you just got a bunch of random things from Peppa Pig and Polly Pocket that we showed off before. You have PJ Masks over here, My Little Pony, Beyblade, He-Man, which is really cool. These really big He-Man sets that I've never seen anywhere, not even back home. You have Castle Grayskull over here. You have another Castle Grayskull over there. And then we have some Jurassic World stuff right over here. This is more of like the Imagine X, like the toddler line of stuff. So you have that and then that pretty much leads into this whole section which is a continuation of like more of that Imagine Next style of figures at least right over on this side. And there's banner up here, Spider-Man Maximum Venom, sick. And then they also have this really sick, I love this, this is like some classic 90s Toy Story graphics right here. Man, I really wish I could take one of those home with me, that just looks so cool. Man, they are really blasting the music in here. I hate that I have to keep chopping all these clips up, but moving over this way, you have your standard like Marvel Legends stuff over here, and then that leads into WWE. So right behind me, that was all like superhero stuff, and then here is the WWE section. Uh, you know, nothing too crazy, I'm not seeing too much different, except for this Superstars uh, set over here, I've never seen that before. And then also this uh, WWE Championship Belt 2 pack that comes with figures. That's actually a really cool set. And um, He-Man, of course, we just mentioned the Castle Grayskull over there. So there's all the He-Man. And we have some Transformer stuff over here. You got these really cool Beast Wars that are meant to look like the old school Kenner toys. That's really fun. And then just your standard Transformers toys right over here. And then that's gonna lead us into, whoa, way more Transformers, a whole wall of Transformers over there, and Star Wars. So a mixture of Star Wars Black Series, as well as all these vintage style figures here. I'm still on the hunt for the Darth Maul that comes in this packaging. But yeah, just a lot of really cool stuff all over here, as well as behind me. Just your standard Star Wars stuff, nothing that, you know, you don't ever see anywhere else, but still really cool to see it here. All right, and here is the Power Rangers Lightning Collection stuff. I haven't seen this two-pack yet with Scorpina, so that's really cool to see, and the Aisha head sculpt. So that is brand new. Uh, I've seen this two-pack before, and I'm surprised they don't have the, um, 
the Titanium Ranger or the Silver and Space Ranger. I always get them confused uh, on the motorcycle. I'm surprised they don't have that here. But you also have these classic VHS packaging style stuff right here. And they have some of these older sets over here of the deluxe figures. I'm surprised this is still around. This was, I think, the first one that ever came out. And then Minions over here. This is really cool. This is a Boppet Minion. So the actual body is the actual Boppet pieces. That's twisted. That's really cool. Honestly, I'm surprised at how small the Pokemon section is. That's that's all you got for Pokemon. Extremely small. And I think it was like that last time as well, which was also equally as surprising. And here is the Funko section. Just so many Funko Pops over here. And I love that they still have that Avatar banner. I'm so glad that's still here. That's just so amazing. Legend of Korra and Avatar. I am just, out of everything they could have picked, I'm so glad that they picked that. And as far as the pops go i'm not seeing anything like too extraordinary or anything like that and there's a lot of duplicates in here but i've seen about a hundred of these on this wall over here which is hilarious looks like they're about to restock as well but yeah nothing nothing too crazy as far as pops go no really big exclusives over here anything like that and then they have some of these deluxe sets down here too yeah but nothing no must-haves or anything and it's a lot of duplicates so i'm not worried about that then they have this Jeffrey the Giraffe plush that I actually picked up last time I was here. So if I didn't pick this up last time, I definitely pick it up now. And it looks like you have some of these, uh, I guess they're called Pipo now. Popo? I, I think last, you know, back in the day they used to be Schleich that made these figures. These are really cool. And you have this massive section of plushes here made by Slife. I'm, I'm not sure what that is. I've never heard this company before. But there's just a bunch of different style of plushes. I mean, just generic animals. Oh my god. Are we still making Beanie Babies? No, oh yeah, yeah, they got a little bit of the Beanie thing down here. They're not Beanie Baby per se, but I guess it's today's version of Beanie Babies, which is wild. And there's this display case, glass case over here. What is in here? It's just plush, what the heck is this? $240, is this like vintage plushes in here from like, even, I mean, even Olaf is in there for $135. What the heck is this? I've never seen this before. These are like super expensive plushes and I'm not really sure why. And we got a bunch of Disney ones down here. I mean, I don't know if these are like designer plushes or what, but $100 or $200 for that little uh, plush that was up here, $240. That is wild. We got this rocking horse type of thing too. $130 for an Olaf. What the heck is going on here? Maybe some of you can uh, inform me. I've never heard of this before. Wow, that's crazy. I don't know if these are collectors or what, but I mean, $240 for that little thing is wild. All right, anyways, moving on. That that just completely blew my mind. What is this? I got this uh, Groot looks like he talks and moves maybe. All right, we have Nerf and Hot Wheels over in this section, which last time we came here, I think it was all exactly like this. So. Nothing has really changed over here, and they have the speakers blasting in this area too, so there's only so much I can do. I'm gonna get hit with copyright, I can feel it. I'm gonna try and chop this up the best that I can. But uh, yeah, Hot Wheels, nothing too interesting. It's all stuff, looks like, that you can find everywhere. You know a collector has rummaged through all the Hot Wheels when they stack them like this. All the collectors always do this. They all stack them like this when they are looking for a particular Hot Wheel. But yeah, nothing. Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing really that I need in here. I have the Pixar cars die cast hidden in this corner over here because they have this Hot Wheels set just stacked to the ceiling over here. So poor cars just being hidden by everything. I mean, the Hot Wheels just goes like all the way down this way. So, oh my God, the speaker is driving me crazy with how loud it is. But yeah, I uh, need to get out of here. Um, yeah, some more die cast over here. Fisher Price, little people stuff over here. Paw Patrol die cast, which I haven't seen these particular ones before, so that's interesting. Looks like maybe some remote control cars as well. Chuggington, another classic here. I always say this is super underrated. I love Chuggington, and of course, you got the classic Thomas and Friends as well. You have these really cool things that I showed off last time, but I still love this UPS truck. But I think it was like $80 for this thing, and it's not even, it's all like plastic, so I wouldn't pay $80 for it, but it is still really cool to see that. And then here are all of the Legos. Doesn't look like they have any new sets over here, which is unfortunate. These look all look like older sets. I mean, you got the Sanctum Santorium, which I believe is pretty old at this point. Um, yeah, nothing really interesting for Legos, really. Just this little section here. But then you have Playmobil. This entire section. Let me see. This is Lego. And then from here all the way to that section over there where the elevator is. All Playmobil, which is wild. Because you don't really see Playmobil like that anymore. Except for 
Walmart, but that's pretty much the only place you see Playmobil. And they have this really fun Barbie photo op. Kind of interesting why it's here and not, you know, over there with, or where is it, over there with the Barbie stuff. But really cool that they have this. That is a lot of fun. And they also still have the Playmobil uh, little photo op slash display thing over here as well. Oh no, she lost her arm. Poor thing. That sucks. Uh, and then they have this. I think this was on display last time I was here, so nothing new there, but still really, really fun, and I love seeing all these displays that they have. And then another cool thing that they have is actual stuff on display that you can play with for Playmobil. So I love having the sets. It doesn't look like there's anything, uh, I guess, if you want to play with a, a sheep, but it's not even focusing. But yeah, if you want to play with a sheep, there's a sheep here. Uh, but yeah, still having this this little bench here is just so nostalgic and having little sets that you can play with Looks like you have a fire truck here. So that's just a ton of fun really like that And then here is another display that's built into the actual photo op fire truck thing So I mean this is just so cool man They don't have this stuff anymore in any stores that you go to I love seeing things like this having this stuff on display seeing how it works having moving pieces having this whole photo op here Man, this is really taking me back. And these light fixtures that they have here. I mentioned them last time, they're the same exact ones, but those are really cool as well. All right, Playmobil just taking over. They got so many sets, but some really notable ones. You have this classic uh, bug, you have the VW bus over here, uh, some 007 Aston Martins that you can't see the front of the box, but if I turn it around really quickly with one hand, there you go, uh, Knight Rider. Just really, really awesome stuff. I have this set, I think I did a review on it a few years ago. Uh, Mini Cooper over here, the really sick A-Team van. This is awesome. Is it worth $90? I don't think so. Playmobil is a little bit expensive. Like, I don't think this was worth however much it was, but I had to have it. But this is really tempting, so maybe I'll pick this up when I get back home. I don't know, I don't have room for it in my bag at the moment though. Then they also have this, it's, act it's actually like a mirror. Instead of actually standing behind it like you would with the normal cutouts, it's actually a mirror so you can take a picture of yourself. That's really fun, so just really awesome Barbie photo ops that they have here. And oh, it's different on the other sides. I thought it would be the same, but no, they're different. That's pretty cool. Yo, I can't believe that they have rescue heroes here. This is my childhood. Rescue Heroes, are they making a comeback? Yo, I remember this dude! Oh my god, Rescue Heroes is making a comeback. This is awesome. How much are these? 10 bucks each too? That is not bad. Oh man, I wish we had these back home. I don't have space in my bag, but I would definitely pick these up just for nostalgia's sake. Hopefully we get these back home. And this section is exactly the same as last time. You still have the Schleich Tiger. And this is what I was talking about, Schleich. So I guess that Papo brand that we saw before, I don't know if I pronounced that right. I guess that's just a different variation of Schleich. But what's really cool, and I don't think this was here last time, is this little display over here. They have the train table on display. So that's just a lot of fun. No trains really, except for this little car here. But let's see if we can get this to work. And this is cool, it kind of goes underneath. Not enough speed to make it all the way up. Yeah, that's just a ton of fun. I love seeing these train sets on display. Woo! Oh man, crash landing. All right, let's uh, put them back over here. Right when you walk in, they got this really cool image of all the Jeffreys throughout the years. Well, all of them except for that one. He doesn't exist. But the rest of them, yeah, this is pretty awesome. Obviously the most iconic one for me is the 90s one right here. Man, so cool. So here's a look at the Jeffrey Cafe. And here's what they have on the menu. So I definitely gotta get something. I might just get a milkshake. But there is the menu for Jeffrey Cafe. And then what's really nice, they also have these like pre-packaged stuff already too. So it looks like, I guess this is, yeah, these are just like little ice cream buckets or ice cream cups that you can get. Or you can get like a freshly made milkshake, which I think I might just do a milkshake. I, I think that's the move right now. But yeah, Jeffrey's Cafe. So cool. All right, so we're fresh out of Toys R Us. Here is the bag that I got, so pretty cool. And then I did pick up that Minnie Mouse, but I did want to shout out the employees in there. I did ask if they had any like merchandise or anything that has the store's name on it. And uh, they gave me this lanyard. I'm trying to do this with one hand over here. There we go. So they have this really cool lanyard. So shout out to all the employees here at the American Dream Toys R Us. And then I did pick up a strawberry milkshake because, you know, why not? So let's go ahead and give this a taste test and see how it tastes. All right, here we go. All right, that was a very thick milkshake. So this definitely is just like a vanilla milkshake with like some artificial strawberry syrup in it. But overall, it tastes pretty good. All right, you guys, so that's gonna do it for me here at American Dream in New Jersey. My main reason for coming here was just to check out that Toys R Us, which I did. I also wanted to check out Babies R Us, but it's not open yet. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. That link's in the description down below. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here. So as always, guys, stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys next time.